boys and girls, Miss Savai here. I am super excited to be working on something fun, a fun activity that you can do at home with your family. You do want to have your parents help you with this because it can be kind of messy. You will need for this project that we're going to be making, it's called bubble printing. You will need um, two bowls or as many as that you want to have for different colors. You will need a baking dish, a baking pan, a baking sheet, something you can put underneath your bowl so that when it does overflow, it does not get onto your counters or onto a tablecloth paper towels, a straw, any kind of straw will work. You need food coloring and you can also use tempera paint. So if you have tempera paint, I would not use acrylic paint. Um, you can use tempera paint. You could try acrylic, but it, it does stain, so be careful. And then you will need some dish soap and some water. So I have two separate bowls today. Into each bowl, I'm going to pour in some liquid dish soap. Any kind of liquid dish soap will work. Just a little bit. Okay, next we're gonna pour in some water. You don't need a lot of water, just enough to kind of fill the bottom, probably like a finger tall, maybe a little bit taller than that, maybe like an inch of water, so maybe a little bit less. Into each bowl, you're gonna put in your paint or your food coloring, and you do wanna put quite a bit. The more you have, the more color your bubbles will pick up. And then I'm gonna put probably, oh, I don't even know. I'm almost out of blue here, but we'll see what we can get. So I'm almost out of blue, so I'm gonna put in some yellow food coloring. What color do you get when you mix blue and yellow? Does anybody know? That's right, you get green. So you're gonna take your straw and you're gonna mix it up until it gets very, very soapy. It's not gonna get super bubbly yet. And then you're gonna mix up your paint one. The paint one takes a little bit longer because the paint's kind of thick, so it takes a little longer. I think this one needs a little bit more paint. Don't be scared to add. A lot of paint. The more you color you have, the more your bubbles will pick up the color and make a better print. So mix it in. Now the fun part. You are going to blow through the straw. You don't want to drink through the straw. You want to blow through the straw just like this, like blowing out a birthday candle. We're going to blow until it starts to make bubbles. It's going to rise up. You're going to take your paper and place it on top of the bubble, catching the bubbles. And then if you look, you can start to see a bubble print. I feel like it needs a little bit more paint. The more you add, the more um, color your bubbles pick up. All right, mix that up. Let's do it again. That's gonna be much better. This is why you need something underneath your bowls so they don't get on your table. Catch your bubbles and look at how beautiful those bubble prints are. So let's try the green one over here. You ready? One, two, three. Look at it grow. Amazing. Let's do it on the same paper. And there we go. You can kind of see the green one there. And if you think you need more color, you can always add more. Let's try the green one again because it's so much fun. Grab my paper. You can use any paper you have, line paper, white paper. And catch your bubbles. It looks awesome. All right, and we're gonna do the pink one again. What a fun sound, right? And trap your bubbles. Amazing. It looks so cool. I love the colors. The green looks great. It almost looks like a neon green. All right, boys and girls, I hope you tried bubble printing at home. Don't forget to ask your parents for help because this is kind of a messy project. Have a great day.